voting reform. That's a really hot topic in Lansing these days. And recently, Senate Republicans introduced a set of bills that would reform the election process in Michigan. But the Secretary of State say they amount to voter suppression. Or Lauren Edwards joins us live after attending a hearing about those bills today, Lauren. Yeah, Doug and Annie, that hearing ended a short time ago. Several lawmakers testifying in support of those bills or what they're calling election reform bills. Take a look at what happened inside. You may remember a few weeks ago, Senate Republicans introduced 39 bills they say meant to protect elections and reduce cheating and fraud, joining other Republicans in other states doing the same thing. Now, this afternoon in Lansing, Republican lawmakers emphasized that voter rolls need to be looked at and reexamined who's on them, who should not be on them, saying that there needs to be more transparency because some people may not even exist. This bill has nothing to do with the 2020 election. It's solely about this, this audit from the Auditor General that clearly states that there are hundreds of people on our voter rolls who are 122 years or older. And uh, you guys know the oldest living person not long ago died in Battle Creek near me, 114. To embark on this endeavor, is not just un-American and anti-democratic. It's an abdication of the oaths of office these leaders took to serve the people of this state. Because you don't serve the people of this state by silencing their voices. Instead, you embarrass all of us. Now, Benson, hours before the hearing, she held a press conference, a virtual one, stating that she believes all of this is about voter suppression, and she's not alone. Other Democrats throughout the state feel the same way. You may remember even last week they were protesting on the steps of the Capitol behind me, but we're going to continue to stay on the story and give you guys updates as we get them. For now, reporting live in Lansing, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. All right, Lauren, thank you.